Welcome back guys and girls to another speed wheel. This is Charlotte speaking and this is not well it's a, it's a house building but I decided to challenge myself something completely different I haven't even thought about before. This is something uh, I haven't seen it anywhere but this is something I call a budget challenge. This simply means that you build a house according to a budget. So when I started to build this house I decided to have a budget for exactly 30,300 well the extra 300 was because when I used my sims to buy the lot which is a 30 times 20 lot uh, she had not even numbers so I used uh, I used cheating to get up to 30,000 and well I had to add those extra 300 but that was okay and the requirements for this challenge was that you the house needs to contain at least two bedrooms, one bathroom, place for a, a car, uh, either a car lot or just a garage. Uh, it should have some kind of a garden and a kitchen and a living room, combined dining room. That just a little bit how you feel about it. It's uh, that's optional the dining room, but it should have have a li living room. Um. And I managed to get all of those in. I wanted two bathrooms, but it didn't fit, so I just had to uh, use one. Uh, this video is very, quite a lot shorter in amount of time than my previous, but because I built this house just, just slightly beneath one hour, and I think my this time before I speed speed things up, it was about exactly. 55 minutes or something it is it, oh i just i just built i focus in this on this house building i focus more on the exterior that the house itself should look nice so there's not a lot of furnishing inside because i couldn't afford it according to the budget but so i tried to make the cheaper things look nice and still on the roof here i actually wanted a garden or something you know i put a tree there but the budget wouldn't allow it so I just have to leave there. Most of those pillars are going to disappear because I couldn't afford what else what what else I wanted, so I just had to let it be. Um, yeah, so I focused a lot of the exterior to make the house on the outside look good, and the garden look at least nice to be in, and a lot about the colors so that the wallpapers and the floors and the floorings and such inside was supposed it should should look neat simple simple as that uh, so the so the furnishing is is not very much uh, but this is that's even better because if you want to download this house you are you can feel free you can furnish whatever and however you want it to because I am not there's you know there's not a much detail and you, you just move around and, you know delete all the furnishing and start over and the bedrooms are just it's uh, simple it's going just to be two double beds and uh, you know the necessity of a bedroom so that's what I'm going for in in everything it just, it has everything you need to start a home so you, I think you can call this a sort of uh, a starter home and that's why. I also named, I think that was somehow why I named the house Charity because it feels like it was a house built for Charity but you, they didn't have a lot of furnishing, you know, that was, that people volunteered with so they had to work with what they had. And that's how you can see it. Uh, there's a, a space behind the kitchen, you know, there's that little thing uh, between the bookshelves. I was actually planning to put a fireplace there. <coughs> I'm sorry I cough. But I couldn't afford one. So I was then I was planning to put a TV, but I couldn't afford one either. So no. It, I don't think it, I ended up with anything. But I like how I made the sofas because I put the, that is one ugly sofa. We all know that, but I managed to, you know, change the colors and stuff and it looks pretty neat. And uh, the uh, the positions of the f uh, the furniture is not going to be like that in the end. I move around quite a lot. Um, yeah, but this was <laughs> very challenging. I suggest 
all of you to actually do something like this because this was wow it was fun it was really fun I've never been much of a budget fan and since I started to play SimCity 4 which is also a let's play on my channel so you can check it out if you want to I have never played anything like it's a despair with me either way this house it, it was the SimCity 4 that inspired me to actually do something with the budget because well, you ha you don't when you build a house you don't have the you know an eternity amount of money because you have some some kind of limit where you can spend. So uh, this house is built in Island Paradise, but you are not required to own Island Paradise to have this house because a lot of the uh, a lot of the stuff is from the basic game. So and the and the lot itself. Um, I built on is you know it's simple it's 30 times 20 which you can place anywhere so I didn't choose a beach lot which oh it would be what was pretty nice for me to do so um, the house itself is almost done I'm going to put some a palm tree somewhere and there's also a room for a computer and a car but I didn't afford to put a computer and a car so but there's there is place for it for you your sims to do so um, yeah so it's you know it's quite basic and I, th I thought it turned out nice pretty nice it's it's, it's a perfect starter home or well it cost it I think the final amount for the house to buy is uh, 29,000 so it's not exactly the starter you get when you do a new family but it could be the perfect home for that teenage kid who just grew up and want to start something new and fresh and here is the final picture and there the pictures that you know you see the interior design isn't very much but it's the basic and it's what you need when you start a new home and I thought it turned out pretty nice the bathroom is just you know there's just a sink a tub a mirror and a toilet so that's what you need uh, to clean yourself. I really like this house. So I hope you enjoyed the video and stay in tune because I'm doing a lot more speed builds This is Charlotte speaking. I'm saying so long for now and I'll see you next time. Bye